Hi, Michael from Machination Studio and just giving you guys an update on what I've been up to. Uh, as I mentioned in the last video, I am making a smaller version of the Colossus that is hopefully, you know, I can, I can bring into a small production run. Uh, so what I've been up to, if you've been uh, following me on Instagram or Facebook, you'll see I've been putting up some pictures of the work in progress. Uh, I've been doing some 3D modeling. Uh, the reason being is that I want to get a provisional design kind of fixed so I can start getting quotations on prototyping and manufacturing this because I think that is one of the uh, um, primary cost of the product. I want to get that kind of out of, out of the way early. So I'm going to break down the design into different levels. Uh, the first level is I'm going to build a chassis as such. Uh, if you saw my previous video, you see what I've done as a prototype of, you know, MDF and, and, and 3D, 3D printed parts. Um, that would form the basis of a chassis that I'm going to design that I can reuse. So I'm, I'm going to redesign that um, as a kind of a reusable platform that I can very quickly design different varieties of, uh, of, 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 of different walkers onto it. So this will be the backbone in which I will design skins for. This allows me to uh, create more varieties really quickly. Um, I want a distinct shape for each of the countries or factions, right? So for the British, I've kind of decided on a cylindrical shape. Uh, I want, I initially wanted to do the egg shape that I had previously, but one of the downsides of the egg shape is that the egg shape surface, if I design something for a certain part of that curve surface, I can't reuse that same part in other places on that curve because the curve is um, is different on every axis. Uh, of course, the best sort of design is flat surfaces or a sphere where if I design something for one part of the sphere, it will fit on any other part of the sphere. Um, I've kind of reserved the flat surfaces and spheres for other factions. Um, for the British faction, I've decided that uh, I've decided that it's going to be the cylinder. Um, some parts of it I'm leaving out of the images just to keep parts of it a secret. Uh, yeah, the, the rationale behind this is to have a base vehicle platform in which the purpose of the vehicle will be built onto. Uh, think how the Sherman tank or the Panzer IV was used uh, in World War II, right? Um, the same vehicle, chassis and platform, you know, and the aircraft versions can be built on it. The uh, mine sweeping versions can be built on it. Rocket launcher versions can be built on it. Uh, recovery vehicles can be built on it. So, so different purposes using the same vehicle chassis. So that's kind of where I, I, I think of it at the moment. The next thing, of course, is uh, weapon attachments. I, I, I'm designing the weapon attachments so that they can be interchangeable. This allows me to create more variety, you know, more types of vehicles um, without making major changes to the shape. So currently, the design is kind of like a, a general battle tank type thing. So it has one of the Gatling guns and the anti-aircraft guns and a bunch of machine guns. Um, it could be two anti aircraft guns or it could be two Gatling guns depending on the type of vehicle. So I, I want to keep that uh, universal turret mount or universal uh, attachment uh, so I can um, swap and change and make different varieties. The next level of individualization would be what I call gubbins. I think, I think people in the kind of uh, wargaming or um, uh, military model kit or even railroad uh, hobbyists in the UK would be familiar with the term. It is just little tiny pieces that add individual detail and, 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 um, style to the thing. So, so it could be little, uh, escape hatches. It could be little attachments like, um, vents and, and air intakes and stuff like that. So each of these, um, don't change the overall shape of the vehicle, but it, it makes them slightly different from each other. So I can actually have every single toy that I make um, 
have certain parts that's very specific to it uh, that that none would be alike exactly right so between color changes and and these gubbins and the positioning of these gubbins um, each toy would be indeed different from every other toy in existence uh, the other thing about the gubbins is that when I sell this as a kit you know where uh, the hobbyists that buy it can design their own versions of it you know uh, by themselves so yes the all of this thought process has also uh, you know is also in mind for selling this as a kit as well as a finished design product so in the next week or well, in probably in the next two or three weeks i will try to make a trip down to, to china to meet some prototypers i think i'm still at the stage where i'm not looking at manufacturers i'm still looking at prototyping companies to help make this because I, I don't think I will, I, I'm not sure if I'll have the cloud demands of thousands and thousands of, of products. I think, uh, 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 I'll be happy, you know, that a hundred of you guys want to buy one of these. Uh, um, um, so I'm still looking at prototypers, uh, low production run techniques like 3D printing, resin casting and CNC milling of the parts. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to explore a few, a few, uh, prototypers, um, Part of the design philosophy is that um, I don't want to end up yeah, producing a thousand of this, having all bo thousand boxes sitting in my bedroom, and 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 wait, you know, and trying to sell them one by one. I think those are you know something I would have done five years ago. But now with crowdfunding, with with social media, I can have a better gauge of how much uh, uh, how many people actually want these things. So so if 10 of you guys want it, I'll make 10. If 100 of you guys want this, I'll make 100, right? So, so that's the philosophy. And as it goes upwards, the manufacturing method will, might have to change or will have to change, right? If, if, if there's thousands of demand, some of it will have to be done with injection molding plastic. And, and with that, you know, the, the immediate, uh, candidate for injection molding would be the chassis, the base, uh, 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 vehicle platform will be uh, injection molded so the rest could still be in smaller production run techniques like resin casting but that base can be yeah so so those are those are just uh, things i'm going to go through uh, uh that's going through my head as i approach um this new design and, and and this new method of making it uh so the next thing i'm going to have to think about is electronics um i'm kind of trying to think whether it's going to be a uh, ubiquitous uh, platform like the Arduino or the Raspberry Pi. Um, and of course, things like how to power it is going to be lithium poly batteries. I, I think the RC crowd are familiar with it, but most people will struggle. You know, it's, it's a bit annoying for most people to deal with lithium poly batteries. Uh, I'm kind of leaning towards a bunch of AA rechargeable batteries. I think everybody on earth can get their hands on that. And um, how to control it. Uh, based on feedback from you know the last year's New York Comic Con, um, I think people want some way of of of, of interacting with the toy. And uh, my initial instinct is Bluetooth, uh, low energy, so controlling it with mobile phones. But I think I will leave an option open for a hardware solution that is not tethered to the mobile phone. You know, so five years down the road, when iOS and Android no longer exist you know, my toy can still work because this other hardware option will be available. Um, yeah, so, so that is what I gotta think about in the future. Uh, currently I'm, I'm having this provisional design freeze, uh, so I can start getting quotations, start having a better idea of how I can actually manufacture the physical, uh, uh parts of this. This design will probably change, might change, um, but uh, uh, um, I think this is the direction I want to be going. Um, yeah, so, so, so if you have any comments at all, whether it's going to be about what type of electronics I should be using, you know, anything about the batteries, anything about the ways I'm designing this, uh, any, any, any suggestions, please put it in the comments. Uh, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to need you know, help for people who are smarter than me to, 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 to get this sorted. Well, I'll probably see you guys in a few weeks then.